bunnies for this video we're going to be talking about two different holding gels now the purpose of these holding gels for me personally and for other fellow lace wig wearers are to hold down the lace front wigs and to like you know hold on baby hairs and all that so we're going to be comparing the gorilla snot gorilla snot punk gel and the got to be ultra glue both of them two complete different price points this big old jar right here are 2.99 to get this in a size like this you're looking at like five six dollars i did start off using this right love this thing nobody could tell me anything about this and would make me want to stray away from this when everybody was jumping on this train i was like bump that this is the best thing out there girl it's not it's cheaper and it holds your wig down like nobody's business. Walked into my local beauty supply store one day, saw this. I was like, all right, let me try it out. Two dollars, you can't really, you know, you can't complain about that price point, so let me try it. Let me tell you, when my entire life changed was the moment I put this on my forehead, okay? This junk right here will hold your wig on no sort of pulling is going to get this wig off. You're going to have to literally go into the bathroom and like wet up the whole variety or so, or do like what I did the first time and try to lift it off and go through excruciating pain. I want to let you know, do not put any of these gel directly on your hairline because it will eat away your edges because it is, you know, like, Especially if you have like a really thin hairline. My hairline isn't that thin, but I don't want to take the chance with anything on there. And that's one of the reasons why I never really like the lace front glue. So when I heard that you could use the gel, I was super excited about that. Now, um, the main difference I noticed other than the holds, this one, it's more of a yellow. It is a yellow gel. Look at that, it's very sticky, which I do like the stickiness of it. It's a lot thicker than the Got To Be Ultra Glue, but that still isn't like a main factor of why I would choose this over that because with the Ultra Glue, I do use a little at a time. I don't use like a whole guap. I like just put like a little teeny, like a pea-sized amount on my finger and then just run it along my forehead. After a while, this does, when it dries, you do see that yellow residue on your hairline, on your units, and that's not cute at all, like at all. The first time I used it, if you like just a little bit, you'll be good, but it will not hold as well as the Got To Be Glue does. The Got To Be Glue is a clear gel, super duper clear. Look at that, super clear. You can't even see that. You put that on there, and how I do mine, because I know that um, I mentioned her in my last um, wig video, Miss Chrissy J, um, Time the Infamous, and I think Ming Lee, when they do theirs, they use a blow dryer. I don't because I just don't have the time for that in the mornings. So what I do is I put my stocking cap on and I put the cap exactly at my hairline just to make sure that I don't make a mistake and slip and put the glue on my hairline. So when I put the cap on, I put the glue on my forehead, not the glue, the gel, <laughs> on my forehead and while that is on there, I'll start doing my eyebrows. When my brows are done, because it takes me about a good five minutes or so to do my brows, then it's nice and tacky. Then I'll take my wig, put it on, press down the little hairs, baby hairs that I cut in the front, take a little bit more of the got to be, put that on top of that already, you know, on top of the, the hairs, and then take a scarf, tie that down, finish my makeup. By the time I'm done with my makeup, that's another like 15 minutes or so, give or take. Then I take the scarf off and I am ready to go, okay? You can style it however you want. Well, you know, depending on the wig that you have. This one here is another red carpet wig by the name of Valentine. I did do a super Valentine review. Um, I'm not gonna do a review on this wig because it's just like a super Valentine, just shorter. And yeah, I'll have a link in the description if you want more info on this wig here. But yeah, that's the, for me, that's the main thing. I Try not to get it on your edges at all because it will, like when you're taking it off, it will rip up your edges and listen to me edges are everything edges are life don't let anyone tell you otherwise okay 
yeah so on your forehead back to the review of the two again if i were to choose any one of them it's definitely going to be the got to be glue the only thing i don't like is the price point it is a super expensive the thing is though with this you're not going to be using a lot like i've had this gel for like a good couple of years now and i still have like over half a jar of this like i don't use it like an everyday gel it's literally just for right here i know that i have this using and i'm gonna obviously get the bigger one when this is done or maybe i'll just get another small one like this because like i said i'm not using that much anyways whatever i don't know what's gonna happen to this this might be like if somebody comes over and they ask me to do their hair for them like do their lace fronts i probably use this for them because yeah <laughs> another thing that i noticed with the two by the end of the day like i usually put my do my hair from like nine o'clock in the morning what i noticed by around six ish the gorilla will start lifting with this it's now 8 p.m and this thing i can it's still on there when I take this off at night I have the worst headache I do <laughs> it is so tight so if you're worried about that then you know there are your your, your things there if you want it to last you all day all night whatever the case is if you go to work and then you have an event to go to that night and you don't have time to retouch up your hair or anything like that this is what you need if you want something that's only going to last like maybe a couple of hours you don't want that much tension you want something softer then this is what you need i do believe that they do the either the red one or the purple one because they have like a couple other of these gorillas not gels that there there is one of them that's clear so you can go ahead and try that that's the one i haven't tried i might go ahead and try that after this one is done and I, i'll let you know how it works out but as of right now between these two because this is the most popular off in the gorilla snot line off the two of like between these two it's definitely the girl the the got to be ultra glued if you have any questions for me leave them in the comment section below if you feel like i should have mentioned something that i didn't mention please go ahead and leave that in the comment section below if you have something you want to ask me that you're too embarrassed to ask in the comments my email is in the description bar thank you guys so much for watching until next time peace sign and Kissy face. Bye.